Hey everyone, welcome to Gentle PSD. I hope you're all having an amazing day. Today in this exciting tutorial we will be learning about how to make the satellite zoom effect using Google Earth Pro and Premiere Pro. Let's take a look at what we are going to create. That looks super awesome. We are going to use our screen recording software that we learned about in the previous video. If you don't know about OBS software, please click on the above link, or you can go to the link in the description. It's important to learn about OBS before starting this video. Before we begin please make sure to hit the subscribe button and bell icon for more amazing tutorials like this. Without any further ado let's begin. Open your web browser. Type in Google Earth Pro. I will put the website link in the description for you to download. Here as you see we can download the application for both desktop and mobile. We will download the desktop version. Click accept and download. After you download completed, double click on it to install it. It will automatically open once it completed its download. Here we have startup tips. If you have time please go through this and you will learn many things about this application. We will close it now. We are going to use this application to get that zooming effect. Go here and click this icon, it will open us with lot of option to customize it. If you see here, we have many options, make sure that none of it is selected other than from what I am going to teach you. Select the 3D building and make sure that the photorealistic and trees are selected. Also select the ocean and you can select all the option if you want, but I will leave it as unselected. In the weather panel, select the clouds option. Now go to terrain and select it. Please follow the tutorial as it is to avoid any confusion. Now again click on this icon to hide the option panel. Go to view in the top and select full view. In the view you can also use this sun option to give us that half night and half day to give more depth to it. I won't use this for now but you can always try to add more detailing as per your own desire. Now let's move on to our tutorial. Type in the address that you want your zoom to happen. I will type in some address in San Francisco and hit the search button. Now it will zoom in on our destination. Zoom close to the building using the mouse scroller. Click on this placement pin icon to mark the location. You can move this pin to wherever we want our zoom to be viewed. Once you done that, 
go to the panel type in the name of the location or whatever you want it to be, I will name it as P, go to style and color, decrease the opacity to 0% to hide the place mark option. Click OK. Now we have marked our destination to zoom in, zoom out using the mouse scroller to get the earth view. Make sure to zoom out slowly to load the buildings at first hand. If you have a slow internet like me, you have to wait a little longer to load. Keep zooming out once it loaded. Now rotate the earth to make your zoom look more dynamic. Once you done, you can see that our place mark P is here to select. Now what we are going to do is, we are going to record our zooming of our earth using the OBS software. If you don't know about this software, don't worry, I have made a tutorial about it. You can click on the link above to watch it or you can get the link to the video in the description. Please feel free to learn it. Open your OBS and click the start recording. Minimize it, double click on the P and hide the option panel. Move your cruiser above the top panel. This way we will record our earth zooming in real quick. As you see we have recorded our zoom effect, but we will do it two to three times to make sure that no lag is present. Zoom out using the mouse scroller. Again click on the destination mark and hide the option panel. Once you recorded, go to OBS and hit stop recording, it will automatically save the video onto our desired folder. Now all we have to do is edit the video in our Premiere Pro. Open the Premiere Pro and create a new project. I will name it as Zoom. Click OK. Now we will drag our recorded video file onto our project panel. Drag it to our sequence panel to create a new sequence. Here we have our zooming earth recorded video. As you see we have our top panel and Google earth mark is in our video. To hide the both, just simply increase the scale in the effects control until you can't see them. Right click on it and select unlink to separate the audio from the video. We don't need this audio, we will delete it by hitting backspace or delete button on our keyboard. Increase the size and just like that, we hit our watermark in the top panel. As you see our zoom is looks a little boring, we will add a locator to make it look like searching. Go to the pen tool icon, click and hold on to it then select the rectangle tool and make a square shape like this. In the effects control panel, under the shape tool, untick the full and select the stroke. Increase the stroke size a little. Duplicate the stroke square by holding ALT, and drag it up like this. Move its position to any sides, we have to make it look like it's locating inside that large square. Decrease its size. That looks good. We will start animating our square. Make sure the time indicator is at the beginning of the sequence. Keyframe the position and move to 50 frames then drag the small square from one corner to another. Keep doing it until the zooming ends. It may be a long process but it's worth doing it. You don't have to do it all the way to the end. Just do it for 3 to 4 seconds.
Take the razor tool and delete the rest of the layer. Select both the layer, now right click on it and select nest. I will name it as locator, click OK. Let's play it. As you see our inner square is moving as expected, but the outer square is not moving, so we will animate it now. First we will decrease the square movement, right click and select speed duration and decrease it to 50%. Hold out and drag it to duplicate, then place it one after another. Keep it until our zoom reaches our destination. Now let's play it. That looks good. We will now move on to animating the outer square. Nest all the square layers. We will animate the outer square, in the same way as we did to our inner square, except we will move it all over the earth. You can decrease or increase the square size as you want. Take the indicator to the beginning and keyframe the position. Start animating the position every 30 to 50 frames. Keep doing it until the end. Once you done, let's play it. That looks super good. We can increase its speed by dragging the keyframes closer, like this. Again play it. Now that looks perfect. As you see we have some unwanted footage at the end, we will trim our footage until the zoom reaches the building. We are almost finished creating our zoom effect, to make it more realistic, you can shoot a video of yourself doing some typing or you can use any stock footage of getting caught. For this tutorial we will use our Batman waking up from Flash's message. Place it at the end. Trim the footage to get the transition as soon as the zoom ends. Right click on the end footage and select apply default transition, which is cross dissolve. Trim the transition to make it look equal on both sides. Now let's play it one more time. We will trim the locator layer a little and increase the speed to 200% by selecting speed and duration. Select the empty space and press backspace on your keyboard to join the two layers. Again right click and select apply default transition. Let's play it and see the final results. That looks amazing. We now know how to make the satellite zooming effect. But this is not enough. You can always add some satellite orbiting stock footages and special sound effects to make it look more amazing like this. I have spent about 45 minutes on adding stock footages and special sound effects to make it look complete. I want you to improvise in your own way from what I taught you, always spend some time editing in it, and you will get an amazing results. You can always download my project files along with all the stock videos on my Patreon. Please kindly visit it to know more, link is in the description.
We are finally at the end of our tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will keep posting more amazing tutorials. Please look forward to it. If you have any doubt please feel free to comment in the comment section. I will reply to it as soon as I can. Hit the subscribe button for more amazing tutorials like this. Hit the like button if you like this video. Until our next tutorial stay happy. Thank you.